Terming Arun Jaitley's maiden budget, good, employee vice CEO Sumit Kapoor in an exclusive chat with NNIS today said that for the first time in history, any finance minister has pledged support to develop a robust software product industry in the country. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has allocated a sum of rupees 500 crore for its Digital India initiative to set up broadband network in villages and promote local manufacturing of hardware and Indian software projects. Beside that, allocation of rupees 7060 crore for smart cities and rupees 100 crore for technology development fund and several other e-governance initiatives has given the Indian IT industry some reason to chair the budget. Well, I think uh, generally it's been a good budget and especially for the software product industry, we were uh, very delighted to hear a very strong commitment by the finance minister in his budget speech towards the development of the software product industry. I think this is a first time that a finance minister has recognized and I think it's a sign of times and at iSpirit we have been, we strongly believe that the time has come for India to pivot from being the back office of the world to becoming the product hub. Uh, a hub for intellectual property from India and this is a very very strong statement coming from the uh, from the finance minister. Kapoor, a co-founder of iSprit, further welcomed the government initiative to set aside of some rupees 10,000 crore startup fund for new businesses. He said the decision will go long way in developing entrepreneurship in India. The other very positive development we felt was the uh, the 10,000 crore startup fund and I think this startup fund is much needed and it will go a long way in developing entrepreneurship in India. Uh, we of course also hope that a large part of this fund would be channelized to uh, software product companies because more than any other startup it's the software product in, uh, startups who need the maximum amount of early stage risk capital. Kapoor, however, said that he was disappointed that the government has not made any provision to check the double taxation in software industry. He said that the software industry was looking of rationalization of VAT and TDS. On the taxation front, we were uh, a little dismayed because we wanted a resolution of uh, two issues. We have an issue of dual taxation on software products. Both VAT and service tax are charged and we wanted a rationalization of that. Uh, we wanted an issue of TDS to be uh, resolved because a large number of product software companies uh, go through early stages of losses and have no tax liability but end up with a long, with a high TDS rate and, and very long uh, delays in refunds. Uh, we wanted to see a resolution of that which did not come. But we are encouraged by the committee that has been formed which will look into such issues with, uh, you know, the committee that will be formed with CBDT and CBEC to work with the industry and, and resolve these issues. And we, we believe that uh, that would be a good uh, forum for us to raise this issue again. Powered by NNIS.